All right, get ready. Wet Nose Wednesday, a little trick-or-treat safety coming up with uh, Natalie and Emmett. All thanks to Legacy Lawn and Pet, Natalie and Emmett. Good morning. What? Good morning. Now, oh, Emmett is your dog. Emmett so. is my dog. Yeah. And today he is going to talk about Halloween safety. He's written notes for me, so I'm just reading his notes. <laughs> he is that smart. I know. Yeah. I Maybe I should turn his microphone on. There we okay, go. Microphone yes. is on. <laughs> He's in his little Halloween tie, too. Oh, no. Nice. So that's one of the little Halloween safety tips. Some pets, you can, if you want to dress up your pets, Yes. Some pets are okay with it right. and some do not like it. Right. So you just kind of have to go with what your pet wants to do. You shouldn't really force them. <laughs> if you are having trick-or-treaters over, like if you're going to be passing out candy, right. please keep your pets like, a, like in a room or like behind a gate or something so that way they can't just run out yeah even if your pet is super friendly you never know they mm -hmm. could just run oh, out yeah. people are going to yeah. come up with different costumes masks they could get and scared. the doorbell goes off yes. all the time yes. our cat uh the ring doorbell will go off and you hear a growl <laughs> <laughs> she's at the door <laughs> that's funny <laughs> not emmett so emma would be one that would just go right up to the door he might bark yeah. but he'll want to say hi to someone right so yeah it's like no yeah, sure but he's small enough where i can just pick him up in my arms <laughs> um okay also you please get a picture of your pet so oh. like the day before well the day of trick-or-treating get a picture so that way you have a recent picture in case they do escape. Mm, Make sure that sure. they have um, their, uh, an identifying tag on them for a dog, their do dog license, or your phone number for a cat. Same, same thing. The cats do need to have breakaway collars. That way they don't get caught on something. Mm. And also, if you are coming back from trick-or-treating with lots of sweet treats, keep them out of reach of your pets. <laughs> not on the counter. Not on the counter. Not, <laughs> right. Even if you like take a, a bite and throw some in the trash. Yeah. I know some dogs like to get into the trash. Uh -huh. So just, just be aware of that. Right. Emmett's kind of chilling in the chair there. He is. You know. He's a good boy. Oh, and he has his, tie, his bow tie on too. <laughs> he a bow tie mind. and yeah. a tie. That's he doesn't mind being styling, dressed up. Styling. <laughs> Now Emmett uh, was a uh, from the shelter. He right? was being turned into the shelter. Oh, ah, yes. okay. Yes. He has an official name though. His official name is Emmett Von Fluff. <laughs> That's right. Yes. It was Emmett, and then I added Von Fluff on. Von it. Fluff. He is kind of black and fluffy. <laughs> he is. He's a nice little guy. Oh yeah. And then last week we brought in yeah. Hank. And Hank. Hank is still looking for a home. Oh, dang. So if you are interested in adopting Hank or any of the other adoptable pets, you can visit our website at www.hancockhumanesociety.com. You are also more than welcome to stop in the shelter, 4550 Fostoria Avenue. We are there Tuesday through Friday from 12 to 5 and Saturdays 12 to 3. Well, Trick or Treat downtown Finley uh, last Saturday went well. Emmett uh, made all the stops. Yes, he did. <laughs> he made all the stops. He got lots of snacks. And a little bit too much for him. Uh, His like yeah. snack bin is <laughs> overflowing. Is overflowing. Yeah, yeah. Nice. had to take some of the shelter pets to share. <laughs> But yeah, it was good. very good. So thank you everyone for stopping out and all the businesses. It was yeah. a really good time. Awesome. It's all thanks to a Legacy Lawn and Pet Wet Nose Wednesday with the Hancock County Humane Society. Natalie Emmett, thanks for coming in. Thank you.